Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen. Look, it's like an Angry Birds tortilla pizza and it's healthier than a normal pizza. Have a go. Ah, uh, there's a place in your house where it's cool to chill, get some me time or even cook a meal. It's your kitchen mofo, ain't no time to slack. So just grab yourself a penny and let's work that ass. If you're scared of this place, ain't no need to bother. Just lay down your weapons and pick up another. Right then guys, one of my most popular videos to date was my Angry Birds pig cake. And I don't actually know why, it was like really dark in here, I was using like my two pixel camera and I just chucked it together. But I had like six year olds typing me messages going, yeah this is really cool, make me another one. I'm like, what? When I was six, I was like out like running playing like hide and seek. Like, get outside. But anyhow, people liked it, I've never really gone back there again. But today I'm going to try and make, see this like yellow Angry Bird? Yeah, we're going to try and make a tortilla wrap. Pizza, so really simple and healthy, but uh, like the yellow Angry Bird. So uh, let's give it a go. Okay, so my tortilla wrap is right there with some food scissors on it. Okay, um, you could use a knife if you want, but today I'm feeling like I want to use those food scissors. For some reason, they're like talking to me. They're saying like, use me. So I'm gonna do it. And what I'm gonna do, obviously, with that yellow yang, yellow Angry Bird, yellow Angry Bird, it's like triangular shape. So I'm gonna find it easier rather than using a knife. I'm gonna cut around to make that shape. Let's do it. Okay, so it's not like a perfect shaped triangle, you can be a little wonky with it if you want, but make sure you curve the edges like this. Da, 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 da. Okay, so this shape, if I pull these bits away, da, 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 I know I said a triangle and I probably could like precision it even more and yours will probably be better than mine, but I quite like that, it's almost as if, wow, the bird is flying. So now we need to get our toppings on it. Yeah. Ah uh, yeah, so I've put it in the baking tray and the first thing I'm going to get on it is tomato puree. If you've got any of that excess wrap left, why don't you just eat it? bit dry. Okay, so yeah, I've just got a tube of tomato puree and you can like make this any flavour you want. And normally, I'm in fact, I'm addicted to barbecue sauce. I don't know why I'm not putting it on there today. Why am I doing it? Why? <laughs> uh, right, okay. Just about a tablespoon of that initially and then get a spoon. A spoon like that, see? Hi, it's nice and shiny. Hi, nice to meet you. Uh, and then just smear it on there with the back of it and spread it all out. Yeah. Okay, so we've got a nice saucy base on there now, and you'll see, uh, if I just flip it, come on, flip around, I hate it when the phone does it, you're like, flip, flip. Uh, can you see, it's got that like white belly thing. I've got some pre-cooked chicken breast that I'm gonna put on the, like, the lower crescent. Okay, so if you look at it, it's not that big a deal, so I'm probably just gonna aim for this little lower section there, just by start placing my chicken bits on there. Okay, so I'm relatively happy with that. I've got like that belly shape there. One other thing you could do is completely coat the whole base with chicken and then when you top it with cheese, which is the next step, just cover and leave in the belly bit like that. But for me, that was only my first couple of pieces that I pulled out. And unless you want to be really intricate, I'm quite happy with that. That'll do. <laughs> Would you like some cheese? Sorry, that's a bit freaky. Um, okay, so if you look on there already, there's some cheese. This is some grated cheddar cheese. And I've told you this before, but it's quite a cool fact, but I live right by where cheddar trees originated. It's called cheddar and everything. And it just drops on the floor. Okay, anyhow. So we're just getting that on that pizza. And what you do, when you get to the chicken bit, bring it flush right up to it. Don't top it. No, 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 a flush. No, it's like right next to it. All right, so that cheese is on there. I've made sure it's about the same height as the chicken breast and also tried to cover as much of the tomato sauce as possible. But if there's a little gaps, once the cheese melts, it will merge together a little bit anyway. Ah, ah, ah. That's supposed to be my impression of a beak. For the beak, we can use some red Leicester cheese sheets. I just said sheets, okay? Okay, so uh, to do my beak, I've just done a little triangle incision in this block of cheese. Let me just pull that apart. Do, 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 do. It's basically a triangle, like that, but with a little kink down there, okay? So try and do that if you can. Okay, so my other piece of cheese, I literally just did another triangle down there, and to be honest, you could have done it with just one slice, but it's a good excuse to eat the cheese if you're making it. Uh, so yeah, put that up there, and just tuck this under, sit it under like that, and you got like a little bit of a beak. I didn't really move very well, but you get the idea. All right, let's uh, put the beak on and see if this looks any more like an angry bird. Okay, so I've just put that cheese beak on there and it's looking all right, I'm happy with that. Um, obviously, I, I could go to town on it, you could do a black outline with some olives, maybe um, chorizo or pepperoni for a tongue. You know, do as much or as little detail as you like, really. Okay, so the next thing I've got is kind of like a tennis ball, but it's a mozzarella ball. So if you were to go and play tennis and you took this along instead, people would think you're kind of bonkers. So all I'm going to do with this, cha ching, is cut it up into two thin slices uh, to make the eyes. Okay, so I put my mozzarella slices straight on there, easy peasy with that, close together, just tuck that one there a little bit under the beak, and now we need to get some eyebrows, some angry bird eyebrows. Okay, so for your eyebrows, it's pretty cool the stuff you could use, because all it's got to be is red and a strip. A strip, that's not the word. Um, okay, so you could use a pepper, you could use a chilli, you could use a tomato, you could use uh, strips of little bacon, salami, pastrami, chorizo, 
anything you want. So uh, this literally it, two strips of pepper going on there. Right, it's kind of looking a little bit like a blind angry bird right now, so we need to add these eyebrows and then some pupils to it. Make sure you do your eyebrows pointing like uh, angry, because it's an angry bird. You don't want it to be a happy bird. No, no, no. So I'm just going to plonk it in, like an angle like that, uh, and like this. Is that, is that looking any better? Yeah, it looks all right. Cool. Okay, so for the eyes, you could either use like some ground up peppercorns or some olives, but to me, I absolutely hate olives and peppercorns on this. You know, if this is for kids, you don't want to like make them go, uh, uh, so what I'm doing, I've actually got an aubergine. Yeah, that's not what it was like. I had a lid on it, like that. And what I'm gonna do, I've cut off the lid. I'm gonna cut off little squares for the pupils. And then that funky, like, hairy thing that it's got on it, I think it's called a feather. We're gonna try and make that out of this. I don't know if that's gonna work or not. Okay, I just wanna show you something because I just suddenly just carried on doing the steps. I was like, yeah, um, I should be doing some. Oh yeah, I should be using my camera. Uh, okay, so what I did, I got my food scissors again, and I cut out two little chunks out of that top half slice of the aubergine, and you see these little bits here, they were the, like, the width of it there, as it's quite thick. So what I did was snipped them off, then got my scissors and worked around in a circle, boom, boom, to make eyes like that. Now, I don't know about you, that is looking like one little angry bird. So there's one other thing to do is the feather. So what I'm planning on doing, I'm just going to try it off camera. I'm going to do the aubergine, slice it lengthways, and then just try and cut a funky feather shape, which will roast separately uh, down the bottom there. Okay, so let's see if that works. Okay, so those are the feathers I'm trying to make, and this might be a little tricky, so if I can't do it, never mind. But I've got this aubergine there, and I halved it, whoosh, straight down there. Got the bits there. So what I'm going to do, I'm not really bothered about the size, it's more of a visual thing. I'm going to try and shape it now into that feather shape, uh, like that. There we go. Okay, after loads of hacking about with this lovely little knife here, it looks kind of like the beak, doesn't it? Anyhow, um, I managed to cut it into these funky, uh, weird looking shapes, like pretty much just like the feathers on there. So if I just put that one up there like this, and then this one to the side sticking up like that, that looks pretty darn similar, and that will do for me. Okay, so when it comes to putting it in the oven, I'm putting the aubergine down there out of the way. Do you call it aubergine in different countries? I don't know, you might not. It's like um, zucchini and courgette, that's all different, right? Uh, so I'm gonna put that on the middle shelf on there, Temperatures are down below, only about 10 minutes is all it's going to need, it's going to warm it through. It could actually get ruined now, but for a minute, that did kind of look like an angry bird. See you in a minute. Right here then folks, we made an angry bird pizza, nice and simple, and you could probably make other characters as well, like maybe like a, a spinachy one to make one of those green pig things. I don't know, completely up to you. I'm not going to actually eat this, I'm going to let Phoebe see it when she gets home from school. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, check out more video recipes at myvirginkitchen.com. Remember to like, share, comment on the video, and I'll see you again next time. Cheers.